Hello everyone, welcome to my Battlefield 1 beta review and my wish list for game release. So I want to start off by saying that I had a ton of fun playing this game, or this beta, both on PC and on PlayStation 4. I've ranked up probably to level 30 on PlayStation 4 and somewhere in the teens on PC. I had a ton of fun. And I'm going to go over some some things that I think that are that are really good and some things that are moderately bad. And I don't think as far as this goes, you know, who am I really to judge what's good and bad? I'm looking for a game where I can feel like I'm in a competitive atmosphere and still have a ton of fun without feeling that I'm getting cheaped all over the place. If that's even a word, cheaped, like you know, getting sniped from 500 meters away um, while I'm trying to cap an objective or something like that. So let's go over some of the patterns, okay? The patterns that I saw develop over playing the beta for probably five days in a row. <clears throat> when you see patterns develop, it kind of shows you and tells you what things are, are possibly either unbalanced um, I dare say use the word overpowered. I, I think it's more of a balance issue with a lot of these issues. Okay, so the patterns I saw develop were snipers and tanks. 80 to 90% of my deaths were either by sniper or by tank. Okay, so I think that the tanks on this particular map, it's hard to judge. It's definitely, it's impossible to judge the the entire game based off of the largest map that's going to be on in this game. Because obviously tanks and snipers will rule larger maps. That being said, a lot of people, you know, want to relate back to this is World War One. This should be this. This should be that. Well, we need more cover. We need more trenches. Tanks were not reliable. They were motor-driven vehicles back in the early 1900s. These were not reliable. So to have these things hauling butt around with canister shells that are, you know, blowing people away from pretty good range, I think that that's something that they need to look at. And I've already seen some tweets from DICE saying that the small single-person tank is going to be changed, nerfed, whatever you want to say. Probably going to do something with a canister shell, which I think would be a big benefit. Balance the tanks down a little bit or give more than one class a viable strategy to take out tanks. Now, a lot of tank drivers that were doing these epic 40-0, 50-0 games are saying, they're not overpowered. All you need to do is work as a team and go after them. Well, yeah, I went after them and I died three, four times just to take the tank down to 50% health and it still just drove away. And then both guns and I went after a tank and it took everything that we had in both of our inventories, died and respawned to take it out. So we either need to improve the anti-tank weapons, or do something about the tanks. Now, as far as snipers go, the way I see snipers is almost every class except for the sniper class, the weapons are challenging to use, whether it be bullet deviation, whether it be the range, the sweet spot range of that weapon. The assault class is short range. It destroys at short range. The medic class is not so good at short range, and it's not so good at long range. It's a medium range class. I didn't play a lot of support. I, I'm i not a big fan of, of a weapon that gets more accurate the more you hold the trigger down for bullet deviation, all that. So I'm not sure what to even think. I didn't play it. I'm not going to comment or judge on that. But the sniper class, you can, you can lay on your belly in the middle of the hills. You can run around and quick scope and, and quick switch to your pistol and finish them. The, the sniper class is just too easy to use in comparison to the challenges that both medic and assault have. The medic is could basically be taken out of the game at this point. It's it's such a, a strange weapon. Now, there may be a lot better weapons under full release, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that under my wish list. I, I hope and wish that there's better medic guns to make the medic more viable. And that's what I'm looking for with that. As far as the other things that I, I think need a little bit of balancing are the horses. The horse hitboxes, I find, are for, I think, giving them too much armor, first of all. 
because the horse can just run over you even after you take him out. And the sword, the gun, it's it's just a little bit crazy. Now, maybe the horses won't appear in every map, so that might not even be a concern. Because I can tell you, just like Battlefield 4, the beta map on Siege of Shanghai, I ended up really despising that map. One, because I played it way too much for the beta. And two, it was just a large map that you needed to use vehicles to get around on. And I just, that's just not my thing. That might be your thing, which is fine. That's okay that we have something different that we like, but that's not my thing. So I'll probably end up hating this map and loving a bunch of other maps, which is fine by me. So I think the horses need, they need to look at them. Whatever they need to do, either take away a little bit of their armor or reduce their hitbox to where they can't just run by you 10 meters away and you're dead. Whether they run you over, they hit you with a sword, or they shoot you with that ridiculously accurate hip-fired gun. The Probably the last big complaint I have is my favorite game mode, Rush. I think we need to address the vehicle situation in Rush. There's just way too many vehicles in there with, with a limit of 24 players. I like the idea of limiting Rush, but... It, it just, it's too dead. It's not enough action other than people in tanks and snipers. So what I would suggest, what I would suggest is to uh, take away vehicles down to maybe one at the maximum for the attackers. Because the defensive guys would have gun emplacements and other things. Just use, one, maybe give them one tank on the offensive side and then make it a 32 player server instead of 24 player that way we have more infantry less vehicles a little bit more cover i understand that this is a desert map so i'm, I'm hoping on my wish list for some maps with some trench warfare and some better cover and i think that rush might just see a big resurgence of players and people might really really enjoy rush again with that type of gameplay, you can overlook a bit of the map design where they may just be throwing stations on a conquest and picking a route that way rather than building a map specifically for Rush. I think we may see a resurgence because I was having a lot of fun playing Rush. It was really good. You know, that kind of sums it up. You know, I really I just saw some patterns develop and I think it needs a, a bit of balancing. But overall, I had a lot of fun statistics website that I use for um, Battlefield 4 and for Battlefront actually reported there was almost 900,000 consecutive players across three platforms at one time during this beta, which is pretty phenomenal. That is a huge, huge number. And I think it it's, looks for a bright future for the amount of people that are going to be playing this game and being able to get into games. All right, guys, that being said, that kind of covers it. I know, I know, you know, it's, it seems like there was a lot of, a lot of talk about balancing, but that's what this beta is used for. You betas are designed to kind of get the bugs out, get the kinks out, get real players in there playing and see what develops. And the patterns that developed were very simple to see snipers and tanks just need a touch of balancing there. We need to get we need to see what the other maps are that they have designed trench warfare. We're looking for a lot of that. And I think we're going to have a blast. I think we're all going to have a blast. Really looking forward to playing Battlefield One Road to Commander for you guys. Thanks for watching, everybody.